I'm Kensani Maranele with your news updates in your headlines. Security tight around Winky Direko's funeral service. Two killed in Boxburg crash. There's tight security in and around the St. Patrick's Anglican Church in Mangawung, Bloemfontein, where the funeral service of former Free State Premier Winky Direko is currently underway. Members of the ANC Women's League, clad in their usual green and black attire, have gathered outside the church singing liberation songs. Direko died at the age of 82 after suffering from a stroke. ANC bigwigs, including dignitaries from various political formations and members of the public, are attending her funeral. Direko has been given a special provincial official funeral. The SABC's Zima Sambewu reports. Mourners attending the funeral service say Winky Direko has left a strong legacy. Comrades say a lot can be emulated from her, particularly her selflessness and ability to place the needs of others ahead of her own. The ANC in the province say Direko's life will be celebrated throughout the year as the ANC celebrates its 100 years. Direko will be laid to rest later this afternoon at the Heroes Acres Cemetery in Mangaung. Two people have been killed and five others injured after their vehicle crashed into a lamppost at Boxburg on Gauteng's East Rand. The cause of the accident has not yet been established, but preliminary investigations reveal that the driver of the vehicle, travelling on Rondebald Road, somehow lost control. The driver then hit the curb, crashed into a lamppost, and two occupants were ejected before it came to rest on the opposite direction. Ekuruleni Polisos Gobedi Mokheseng says a 34-year-old woman and a 14-year-old girl died on the scene while the others were rushed to hospital. The actual cause of the accident will be investigated by the Ekuruleni Accident Reconstruction Unit and a case of culpable homicide has been registered at the Boxback Police Station. Two men are in critical condition after the microlights they'd been traveling in crashed at the Panorama airfield in Alberton, east of Johannesburg. Nets Care 911's Jeff Wicks. Paramedics arrived at the scene to find that the microlight had crashed on takeoff. One man was trapped inside the wreckage and medics immediately initiated care. Both were treated and stabilized at the scene and transported by ambulance to the Nets Care Union Hospital for further urgent treatment. The South African Revenue Services says tax credits for medical aid contributions are the first taxation step towards the introduction of the National Health Insurance Scheme. Commissioner Opa Mahashule says medical tax credits are a more equitable form of relief than medical deductions because the relative value of the relief does not increase with higher income levels. Earlier this week, Mahashule briefed Parliament's Standing Committee on Finance and Appropriations. Finance Minister Pravin Godan announced in his budget speech on Wednesday that the credit system would be introduced on the 1st of next month at a rate of 230 rand a month for the first two beneficiaries and 154 rand for every further beneficiary.